Hey everybody, my name is Ashley Rush and I'm an independent creative memories advisor located in North Carolina. Today I want to talk to you guys about pages. I know many of us are familiar with the traditional pages offered by creative memories. They're strap hinge, they've got jeeping, they come in multiple colors, white, black, spargo, natural. But did you know that creative memories also offers slide in pages? We call them pocket pages and they come in two different styles. We have our 12 by 12 single pocket pages and then we have our 12 by 12 multi pocket pages. That's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Our multi pocket pages are grossly underutilized. A lot of people don't know they exist and a lot of people don't know how to use them. So I'm going to show you guys what our pocket pages are all about and then show you three different hacks to, to get more uses out of them. I hope you enjoy. Before we start talking about all of the hacks, let's just go through our pocket page. I know a lot of you guys are not very familiar with this. So Creative Memories actually makes two different types of pocket pages. This is our 12 by 12 multi pocket page. We also have a 12 by 12 single pocket page. The big difference is that the, obviously the 12 by 12 single has a single pocket that'll fit a 12 by 12 piece of paper in it. With the multi pocket pages, there are um, five pockets that'll fit five four by six photos on each side for a total of 10. Now, one of the cool things about these pocket pages, and it's kind of like a hidden hack, is that it comes with paper preloaded in it and this paper is the same as our four by six or is the same as our cardstock so you get five pieces of four by six cardstock these are you know you can pull these out and save them for photo mats and journaling boxes all of those things i use them to make my photos when i um you know add photos to the pages you'll see what i'm talking about here in a minute <clears throat> now our multi pocket pages are the perfect complement to our variety map pack so here I have our brand new Devotion Variety Map Pack. It is our wedding themed. It's got golds and silver tones throughout. Um, these can slide right into our pockets and add the perfect bit of decoration for all of your layouts. Now our pocket pages can be used um, in between our regular pages, our traditional, you know, 12 by 12 with the jeeping, you can do an entire album of just the multi pocket pages. You can mix them with our single pocket pages. Um, it really gives some variety to your scrapbooks. Now, I'm going to show you guys just how easy these are to use here in a second. I have pulled out some um, old wedding photos. I've already done my wedding album, as if you guys saw my um, CM story video. That was the first album I did after becoming a Creative Memories Advisor. Um, we were called consultants back then. But I'm just going to slide in some extras. And then I'm going to pick a variety map pack to go here. Um, you can choose something that's got a title already on it for some easy decoration. Um, I'm going to choose, I think I'll do this one. Um, it'll be a place to journal. I can add my own title, but I can tell the story of the special dances from my wedding day. Um, if you were to turn this page over, You'll see the back of our photos, the back of that um, journaling box. You would just then slide in another mat or another photo over top of those so that, um, you know, you don't see the back. It's that simple. As you can see, this is done. I can be finished, but there is an awful lot of like clear space on either side of those photos. 
And that's because, you know, you need to take up 12 inches so that you can add this to your scrapbook page. Well, this is a four by six photo, so that's four inches. And this is a four by six, so that's six plus four is 10. You're making up two whole inches of, um, two whole inches of, of, of space. And it's clear because these are clear pockets. But that's a bit of a waste to me and I'm a little extra. So we are going to hack these pages so you can add some extra decoration. Now this, in order to do this, you will need your precision point scissors, something that's very sharp. You can also use an X-Acto knife and you will need um, your cutting mat. So I'm just gonna give this a quarter turn so I have a, a better angle on it. I'm gonna open up my scissors and hold them sort of like an X-Acto knife. And I'm going to make a slight cut at the very top of my, um, my page here, but I'm gonna do it underneath of that seam. Do you guys see that crimped edge um, all the way around? That is the seam. I'm gonna do it under there, and then I'm gonna do it from <laughs> crimped edge to crimped edge. So I'm just going to apply some pressure and pull. And that should cut through the top layer, but not the bottom. It may take a couple tries. So I'm just gonna follow that line one more time. Yep, I feel like I got it that time. And I will stick my scissors in the slit just to make sure it's open. You can sort of pull it, use it as a knife to make sure that it's going all the way open. And you guys can see, see how I've got scissors go all the way through. I'm going to repeat that on the opposite side. Just apply pressure and pull. Stopping before I get to the seam. You don't want to cut the seam open. That one I did a lot better. See, it's because it was closer to me. Although, didn't get it all the way. Be very careful when you've got your scissors open like that. You don't want to be cutting your fingers open. All right, so that should be done. Now you can trim down pieces of cardstock or decorative paper to um, add to your pages. So I pulled out our Devotion decorative paper pack. This is our accent designer paper, um, and quite a bit of it is foiled. It does not look really beautiful under our light. So I'm just kind of turning things over so you can see both sides. So I'm actually gonna use the foiled rose paper to bring out the roses from the journaling box I selected. So I'm gonna set these aside. So though they, they may look it, these edge pieces are not the same width. The one closest to the staple jeeping is just about um, three quarters of an inch. And the one on the opposite edge is just over half an inch, like it's, it's between half and three quarters. So I'm going to cut some paper using my 12 inch trimmer. Since this one's at three quarters, I'm gonna cut it just under three quarters because this is a decorative paper. It's a little flimsy. You don't wanna make it too tight, otherwise it's gonna be hard to squeeze in. I'm bring, using the right-hand side of my trimmer. So I've taken it to three quarters and I'm just gonna scoot it back a little bit. And I'm gonna cut. So I've got my three quarters just shy of strip for this side. And here I'm gonna go to the half inch mark and then I'm just gonna squeak like a little bit over top of that. So I've got my two strips. I'm gonna set my trimmer aside. And now you just take those strips and you gently feed them in to the slit you created.
I can see here that I've missed a bit. I didn't realize it. Once you get it in, you just gently feed it in. You wanna be careful not to accidentally bend your paper upwards, because once you create a bend, it's gonna be very hard to make your paper want to go into the slit. This may take some practice, guys, so don't get frustrated. I'm gonna scoot that up a bit. And I'm gonna work on the bottom piece. Again, this one is thinner than the piece closest to the jeeping. And I'm just sliding that in. And doesn't that add like a super extra special touch to our page? And I'm also loving that foil accent. Really is beautiful. I'm loving the rose design complementing our journaling box. I just love this little trick and it makes the, the page feel more complete. So I'm gonna show you another example that I did before we filmed. Here I have used our Wonderlust collection. Um, here's the photos I was telling you guys about where I just, you know, am representing where I've added photos. Um, I've added a journaling box here from one of the variety map packs. I believe on this side I have used an exactly three quarters of an inch, but I used cardstock because it's stiffer and it was easier to slide in to that tight spot. And then on this side, I use half an inch thick paper. Down here, I use another one of our photo mats. And this one had like those, like a Polaroid spot on it. Let's see if I can pull that out for you guys and show you. Um, so it looks like an old timey Polaroid. So I was able to cut down photos to two and a half by two inches. Um, and you can, so you can use photos that aren't four by six. There are several ways. Feel free to cut photos down, mat them specially. Um, you can even use photos that are larger. So in my next example, here I'm using the emerald gemstone that's currently on last chance. And I've actually taken a five by seven photo and I have cut it in half so I've made it, I've cut at three and a half inches here and I've kept the full five inches. So I've cut it in half and then added it to two different four by six slots. So you guys can see here, I've actually, I've taken a photo mat that's four by six. This came right out of our variety mat pack. There were two matching ones. I've slid that in. I've cut my five by seven in half and then I've slid this one into the top half and then this one um, I've slid in, into the bottom half. Now obviously you are going to want to make sure you are using adhesive or tape runner down um, to put the 5 by 7 down on your 4 by 6 mats. Otherwise you know they'll start to shift and come apart and things will look weird. You know if you've got your 5 by 7 looking like that it's a little wonky. Um, here, I also wanted to show you guys, look, I've used our laser cut borders and added them into my new pockets as well. So this one I added as is straight to the pocket. And then this one, I had to trim off 1 16th of an inch to make sure it fit. It's a little taller than some of the other borders, um, but there we, it's like using what we have, making use of them. I love the combination of the two together. Um, and I love like the little peekaboo moments you're going to get in between. So all in all, I've shown you guys, what, three different hacks here. We've gone over adding the strips by, so cutting slits. We've gone over 
adding smaller photos to our pages. And we've gone over adding larger photos to our spaces. Now, this also works if you have a lot of four by sixes that are in that portrait orientation. Um, you're able to cut those in half as well. Um, so, you know, you don't have to just use it for oversized photos, but I love that I can get a five by seven in here. So what did you guys think of those hacks? Did you learn something new? Did you have a favorite hack? I think the layout I did with the Emerald Gemstone was clearly my favorite. Not just because it's one of my all-time favorite collections, but it is. Um, but I loved using the laser borders with our um, slit trick. I also like the idea of being able to use five by seven photos in these four by six pockets. We're no longer constricted by size. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you see any products in this video that you just love, make sure you head over to my Creative Memories website. And if you're looking to connect, check out my Facebook and Instagram. I'm posting daily content there. I even host a Facebook group just for my VIPs. So ask me how to get into that. If you guys are looking for more inspiration, why don't you attend one of my events? I host in-person and virtual events, so there's something out there for everybody. In fact, I just had a virtual event with people from Massachusetts, Wisconsin, Florida, and it was a ton of fun. If you just love, love, love everything Creative Memories and you are bursting to share, let's talk about you joining my team. I am growing and I would love to have you grow with me. In the meantime, I'll see you all next week. Bye.